He'd come to continue the legacy of his grandfather and called on the assembly to ensure that the 34 million people who have died of AIDS, including his father Mahato, who passed in 2005, did not die in vain. My grandfather was not afraid of the truth. Nelson Mandela instead spoke out loudly and with dignity. His only surviving son, Mahatu Lawanika Mandela, had died of AIDS. Madiba was determined that his only son would not die in silence and in vain. This was the beginning of a national dialogue on AIDS in South Africa and a global action around the world. He urged action to ensure that vulnerable groups, LGBTI people, sex workers, drug users and migrants among others, no longer have to live in the shadows and the stigma still associated with HIV in many countries. I'm here to ask leaders of the 35 countries that still don't allow foreigners living with HIV to enter or reside within their countries to end travel restrictions now. Because the truth is that building walls or denying visas is not how we protect ourselves from HIV <laughs> or end a global epidemic. Bigotry and fear do nothing but spread the virus. He called on delegates to make history. It has been 11 years since my father passed away. And although I am older now, I still want him to be proud. I would have loved to see the look on his eyes today as I address the opening of this historical meeting in this historical place. Today, the eyes of millions living with HIV are on us. It is so decided. The assembly shortly afterwards committed to accelerate investments to fast track the global response over the next five years. Sherwin Bryceby's SABC News, 